This is calculator question number 38. College Board gives us a word problem describing the almost logistic growth of the population of a plant. And they ask, if you wish to increase the number of plants in more rapidly, so that in one year we go from 3,000 to 3,360, how many plants must the modified environment support where the number of the environment supports is K, the carrying capacity? I can solve this by substituting values for this equation. N next here is 3360 equals N this year, which is 3000, plus 0.2 times N this year is still 3000, not plus times 1. minus n this here, which is 3,000 over k. I can solve this algebraically. I'd rather not, though. If I put the left side in y1 on my calculator, the right side in y2, so that is 3,360 three, in y1 and 3,000 plus 0.2 times 3,000 times 1 minus 3,000 over, I'm going to call it x in my calculator. And I need a window. And I'm going to choose x max 9999 because that's the largest number I can grid in. And y max, I'm going to choose 5,000 because then I can see this 3360. And if I hit graph, my graph looks like this. And I'm hoping that crosses somewhere in the window, although it's really hard to tell if it crossed. My drawing exaggerates, I hope. So calculate the intersection, which is second trace or second calc, and then choice five. Hit enter three times. Don't try to move your cursor. And I get x equals 7,500. And that would be my answer. The x value at the point of intersection is the value of k, where the right-hand side equals the left-hand side, so that is the solution they're asking for. And if I did this algebraically, let's do it. Subtract 3,000 from both sides. I get 360 equals 0.2 times 3,000 times 1 minus 3,000 over k. 0.2 times 3,000 is 600. And so 360 equals 600, 1 minus 3,000 over k. Erase my previous work. Hopefully I'll have space. And dividing both sides by 600, I get 360 over 600 equals 1 minus 3,000 over k. If I subtract 1, 360 over 600 is 0.6. Subtract 1, I get negative 0.4. Negative 0 0.4 equals negative 3,000 over k. Multiply both sides by negative k. I get 0.4k equals positive 3,000. Dividing both sides by 0.4, I get k equals 3,000 over 0.4, which is 7,500. The same answer I got much more efficiently by putting my left side of the equation, y1, right side, and y2, and finding the intersection. I probably use that method more often than it's necessary on the videos, but the whole point is to illustrate it. So when you get to something like this, where the algebra takes more time than you have on the SAT, and there's too many opportunities for careless errors, you're familiar with that method, and you think, oh yeah, I don't have to do this by hand. That's why we have a calculator. So make sure you remember to use the calculator on the calculator section and especially the graphing features, not just 
the scientific calculator, four function calculator computations. And come back soon for my next video with math, there's always more.